Hey guys, it's Chris from the Ultimate Recycler and we're back to do another bizarre worm test. I pulled this uh, section of seagrass matting out of a shed recently. It's been a bit damp, it's a bit discoloured and it looks like it's got a bit of mould on it and that's all goes good for it being a natural product. Um, I think it actually is made from grass that grows in aquatic situations and it's just kind of woven. Now this is fairly old stuff. It was quite popular in the 70s uh, I think they still make it though. So I'm going to cut a square out of this. It's around about around about a foot square or 12 inches square or 30 centimetres. Um, I'm going to put it in the worm farm and we'll just do a bit of a time trial. I'm pretty sure they're going to eat it and we'll see how long it takes them to get through one square of seagrass matting. So this garden bed's nice and clean. Uh, I did a thistle test here a while back and the worms cleaned up everything. I uh, scraped it around and leveled it just before and I saw uh, just two or three worms. So there's a few in here, but not very many. They've gone elsewhere for a feed. So it's an ideal spot to do our test on our seagrass matting. So I've put one square in the middle. I'm going to water it down, keep it damp, and put the carpet back over the top. And uh, it'll go mouldy fairly quickly. We might check it in a week and see what it looks like. I would expect it'll take a little while for the worms to come back into this bed. But... Uh, yeah, that's the experiment. We'll see what happens and we'll keep track of it and see how long it actually takes them to uh, totally eat that square. It's been 10 days uh, since we put this seagrass matting down. Um, how's the nice crop of lichen or little moss or whatever it's called that's growing on the carpet? It's in a nice shady spot and I keep it damp and uh, the, uh, the little plants or whatever they are obviously like it. So let's have a look at the seagrass matting. Oh yep, the worms are moving in. So there looks like it's covered a bit with worm castings. They're certainly there. Uh, they've come back from wherever else they were. Let's have a look underneath. Oh yeah, they're loving it. It's going to take them quite a while to eat it, as I said, and I'm not worried about that. It's just more of an experiment to see that they do eat it, and it'll be interesting to keep track and see how long so we'll leave it a couple of weeks and then we'll check in and see how it's, it's going. Obviously there's most of the mat still there, but it has attracted the worms. They've moved in from elsewhere and they seem to be enjoying themselves. Okay, it's been three weeks since we checked the seagrass matting. Let's just keep an eye on it and see what's going on. Oh, there's a mass of worms in the middle there, but they seem to have moved away from the rest of it. But I think there's a larger density of worm castings on top we've had quite a bit of rain the last couple of days so it's very muddy here perhaps um, they don't like it because it's got a bit wet now there's still you know the mat's still pretty much complete but they're still there and uh, I guess they're eating it so we'll leave it a bit longer now and check back later as I said earlier the main aim of this experiment is just to see that they will eventually consume it I'm not worried how long it takes. So we won't disturb them for a while and we'll get back to them down the track a bit. It's been three months since we last checked this seagrass matting. And it's been over winter, so there hasn't been a lot of worm activity. But the mat's still there. So there's no worms obviously visible. Let's have a look underneath. Oh, okay, it's all coming apart. So, yes, definitely. It's it's basically now, it looks like it's all the connecting, maybe it was woven with cotton or something, but it's now no longer a mat. It's essentially one long strand of plaited seagrass, uh, none of which seems to have been eaten. Now, what's going on in here? Looks like there's some little springtails, but I can't see any sign of worms. So I'm a bit dubious that they're going to eat this at all. Uh, perhaps the seagrass. Let's pull it right out. Yeah, well, there's certainly been none. None disappeared. Although there's areas here that looks like it's actually rotting, but doesn't look like there's been any worms yet. Yeah, it's, it's actually starting to fall apart. 
but I don't know that that's worm activity or not. So I would suggest that the worms don't like eating this. Perhaps it was sprayed or treated with something. Um, but certainly we haven't had any evidence of anything being eaten other than whatever was kind of holding it together. Oh, here we go. Looks like there's strands that it was kind of threaded through to hold it all together. Now, I'm not sure what that material is. Maybe it is a cotton. Yeah, I don't know. But look, as far as a worm test goes, uh, I'd say that's a big no. Surely after, you know, four to five months, there would have at least been some pieces eaten or missing. But there's no holes, obvious, other than little bits that have started to rot, perhaps from other bacteria. So whilst I believe it's a natural product, I don't think it's a good one for the worm farm. Perhaps you can use it if you have excess or old seagrass matting. Perhaps you can use it in your garden as like of a, a mulch cover. I wouldn't probably use it on a path because it's going to come apart and then you'll end up with hundreds of trip ropes. So look, it might be better to roll it up and use it as a fire lighter. But as far as worm farms go, as far as compost, well, compost it will break down because as you can see, it's kind of breaking. So it's it's obviously decaying somehow. But I don't think the worms are having anything to do with it. But I think if you put it in your compost, it would tangle around things and make it difficult to, to dig over with a garden fork or something. So perhaps keep seagrass matting out of your garden. Um, and uh, perhaps maybe only just as a mulch might be the best option around underneath plants because it will eventually break down uh, and perhaps the worms might get into what's left of it later but as far as our worm test goes i think we'll um, conclude that no this sort of stuff's probably no good well it's going to cause more grief with tangling and and whatnot than what it is as far as being able to be broken down and being eaten so all right thanks for the watching i'll um dig this garden over, freshen it up, and we'll start another couple of tests for you. See you in the next video.